Hello guys, welcome back to the Newcastle United career mode. I've taken a load of your suggestions on board and we're sorting out the club today. One of the major issues that you guys were finding, we've got far too many players at the club. De Jong, Save, Murphy, Dummett, all transfer listed right now and I have four players that I'm wishing to send out on loan. These three, Mbabu, Tony and Armstrong, eventually I am wanting to use them in the starting 11 here at Newcastle. Right now, they're not Premier League quality, which is gonna affect us if we do start them. Also a comment that I came across, it said, you went into the Arsenal game with an attacking formation with only one CDM, you're gonna get overrun. And I completely agree with that. I went into that game not treating Arsenal with the respect that they deserve. We got overrun, we got dominated. Killed off, 8-1, embarrassing scoreline. I treated that game like I was the best team in the league. Very arrogant, really. In the championship, we could get away with it. We had the best team. We could play whatever formation we liked. We had the quality. In the Premier League, it's a different story. So going into games, we really need to assess who we're coming up against, what formation would best suit the players that we have, and to get wins. So right now, we've got a lot of improving to do, but we're going to do it as a team. Let's go and sort out the club. I also want to make one more signing. It was a good recommendation. Let's see who it is. Ruben Neves. This is the player we tried to sign in the last transfer window. Unfortunately, he only recently joined Tottenham Hotspur, so we couldn't do any business there. He is from Portugal. Gelson Martins is from Portugal. I know it doesn't make any difference, just realistically they could get some chemistry i don't know i just i just like to try and keep it as real as possible ruben neves i'm going to look to approach spurs now to buy him as we are going to be changing up the formation quite a bit in the premier league he will come in handy he can rotate between playing as a center mid a cdm and he's going to be growing at an incredible rate so let's go and drop a five million bid on ruben neves I think we're going to have to spend maybe 10, 15 million on this guy. It looks good. So business is going to have to be put on hold for the time being as we've got a match against Swansea. At home though, which is going to be fantastic. We've got the crowd behind us and on our side. 4-4-2 is the formation that I've decided to switch up to. We're wanting to flood the midfield. Pianza on the left, he feels really good. Even in the Arsenal game when we got battered. I saw signs that he's going to be a really nice player this season. Anita, Shelby, Martins in the middle. And just as well, I didn't rush into things and sell Shelby onto PSG. He's going to come in handy. Hernandez, Gale up top. Mitrovic has been dropped to the bench. I just want to see how these two play uh, with each other up top. Hidara, Lascelles, Mbemba, Yedlin in uh, the right back position. Carl's drop. We still need to see if we can offer him that contract. Someone said he won't actually accept the squad rotation role. If I can get him in, in as an important first team player, that's fine by me. And sells in goal. Let's go to the game. I'm hoping for at least a draw or a win. A win would be fantastic. A draw would be good against Swansea. Let's do it. Swansea have had an identical start to the season. They've won one. They've lost one. We got the win over Sunderland. Then we got battered and put into place by Arsenal. Let's hope that we don't have a repeat performance. Players to watch. Vieto. They've signed Vieto. Wow. All right. We've got a man mark him for sure. He's a good player. The team's ready though. One thing we need to do in this game is to seriously keep possession. We can't afford to give it away. Otherwise, it takes so long to win the ball back. It's, it's unbelievable. And if we can lay that across to Hydara, give it back. That's it. Do exactly what Swansea do to us. Hold possession. Shelby on the edge. Fantastic positioning. Put that ball through. Gelson with the strike. Oh, it's going to take a uh, deflection. Thought I was going to latch on to that with Gale. They're just playing it around in their area. I don't know what they're expecting me to do. Maybe bring out all my players. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to allow them to keep possession. And win the ball back here. Come on, Gale. Where's your strength at? Maybe that's where we need Mitrovic to start bullying. And press the back line. Lascelles has stepped up there. Got the good challenge in. Dyer. Oh, good battling. The referee seen a foul. I didn't think there was much in that. If we win it here, they're going to get on the attack it's come out to Montero look at that ball <gasps> sells with a big save he's kept us in it no that he headed clearance was terrible man there we go let's counter attack come on start making a run Gale look at the space out wide fantastic ball Martins cut in give it back lovely play Piazza oh now we've got a nice attack forming look at how many players have got around me it's all good fizzing pass through 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 through, through. Gale's in behind hit that oh no way I was desperate. I really was hoping that we'd find the back of the net. Good play. Anita. Piazza. Piazza. 
play it. Oh, Marco Piazza for his debut. Oh, debut goal at home. Not, <laughs> it's not his debut, but it is his home debut. Wow. What a ball that was through. Marco Piazza is already firing them home. Fantastic run. And Gale with the assist. First half is over. And I'm really pleased with how the team is playing. 4-4-2 is helping us in the midfield to keep possession. I can see the quality in Swansea's team. They can punish us. They had a chance where Sells got big and, uh, and kept it nil-nil. We went on the attack. We, we had a really good strike with Gale. Cracked the bar. And the other went in from Marco Piazza. Is a deserved lead. we just got to keep this up. I'm just going to hold off. They can play it around all they like. They're going to start moving up now. I've taken him out. And there you go. Now they've passed it away. They had no answer to the uh, to the good structure that we held there. Gelson back to Yedlin. Now it's my time to uh, hold possession. We're the ones winning here. We don't need to do too much going forward. Although a second goal would be lovely. And it may even put the game to bed for Swansea. Look at that run from Piazza. Is he going to be able to be found? Whoa, what a control that is. Oh, very unlucky. They've gone ultra attacking, it feels like. I'm under pressure. They're just keeping possession. Oh, nearly misplaced pass. And that's where we're going to pounce on them. Good. Over to Gelson. Gelson to Gale. Carry that run, Gelson. Get down the line. There we go. This is where he loves it. Get in the box. It's a shame we don't have Mitrovic in the side. Otherwise, I would have just resorted to a cross. Play it on the edge. Oh, it went to the wrong guy. I was wanting that to find Gale. Marco Piazza, just so confident and comfortable on the ball. Great skill pass. Back to Shelby. If I can find Shelby. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. We're going to get caught. Yes, that was important, that interception. We had a load of people up in the attack. We were vulnerable there for a counter-attack. Here's Anita on the edge to Gale. Gale with the finesse. Come on. Who did that come off of? So like I said, guys, Gale and also Shelby are off. Mitrovic for Sumenta is on, and I'm going to put it in defensive. Gomez, Gomez has been brought on. Go on. Mitrovic. Look at that. Go on, Mitrovic. Turn, turn. What a pass. And he's got a lot better with that. Last season, I saw it in his play. And this season, that's what we want him to do. And Hernandez. Ooh, that was with his weaker foot. Full time, guys. 1-0. And the first half goal was enough to come away with the result. Although we played well, missed opportunities in that game. Swansea had one real chance. If they put that in, we would have only come away with the point. We did enough to win that game by three, four goals. Very happy. That's much better. Good response from getting battered by Arsenal to uh, win quite comfortably here against Swansea. Good three points. So Everton have got in touch to purchase Honoré Save off of us. 8 million they've offered. I've counter-offered with 11. He's worth 10. Another offer from Everton and another offer for Alexandra Mitrovic. No, reject it. Even for 22 mil. No, thank you. Transfer deadline date is fast approaching. This right here, though, was expected. Rick Carl's drop. He's not happy with the role. He wants a bigger role at the club. So let's offer him that. 20,000. Yeah, it was 20,000 a week. Four-year deal. Four-year deal. That's fine. And important first-team player. Tottenham Hotspur did reject the 5 million offer that we put in for Ruben Neves. I've upped it to 10. Now we're talking business. 10 million is a serious offer. A player that we transfer listed at the start of the video today has gone and got himself an offer. 6 million. He's worth 6 mil. I think we will accept that. Another deal has been done. 11 million for Sabe. They've decided to match it. He's going to Everton. Now it's transfer deadline day. It's going to start getting busy. Wigan Athletic have come in for Adam Armstrong only for a year loan. And that's uh, awesome. Yeah, I don't want him just to mould away at the club. Mould away? Rot away. <laughs> mould away. Except. Tottenham Hotspur are wanting 14 million for Ruben Neves. I'm going to put in an 11 million 500,000 offer. I'm hoping that's going to be enough. The chief executive is saying this is a deal we can complete, affordable, and the player is keen. It is Carl's drop. He's accepted that upped contract offer where he is going to be the first team choice. Fantastic. Good signing. Let's bring him to Newcastle. So the board have allocated us $8 million to our current transfer budget for the sale of Andre Save. And Spurs have accepted 11.5 million for Ruben Neves. I think that's a fantastic purchase. He's young. He's good enough for Premier League level as a rotation player. Let's sign him. Let's get him over the line. 50,000 a week he is wanting. No problem there. It was already set as 49,000. So not much has changed really. Four year deal and a squad rotation play. He was already a squad rotation player. That's how we're going to use him. Are you guys seeing what I'm seeing? Antoine Griezmann and Robert Lewandowski 
have gone to Man United. Did you see who Man United signed in the last season when it was transfer deadline day? Suarez, I think it was Neymar as well. I do not want to be playing Manchester United, let me tell you. Not looking forward to it. A slight problem with the Neves deal, he's rejected the contract offer, he wants a bigger role at the club. We did have him set as a squad rotation player, so let's bring that back down to 50,000 a week, four year deal, so he was squad rotation player. Important first team player? Is he really going to be an important first team player? I guess we can set that, he's not going to accept any other any other role is he so important first team player so Birmingham have come in for Paul Dummett 1.6 they've offered he is valued at 1.8 should we push to 1.7 I don't think we're going to get 1.8 million for Paul Dummett maybe 1.9 let's go in with 1.9 you never know so Birmingham now have offered 1.8 was he valued at 1.8 yeah so they've matched the asking price except that Paul Dummett is on his way out. Honestly, I was hoping to bring in Neves as a squad rotation player. He wasn't accepting that. I guess it depends how good he is. If he's fantastic, then I don't mind playing him in front of someone like Shelby or even Anita. I don't mind at all as long as he is playing well. Let's accept that and bring him to Newcastle. One year loan deal has come in for Mbabu. I really like this guy in real life. It's coming from Warsaw though, except that one year deal, see you later Mbabu. The Premier League table is looking something like this. Spurs at the top, which is uh, kind of a surprise. West Ham also, Man United, Man City, Arsenal, that is expected. We are in ninth position. Nottingham Forest are having a pretty good start, just like us. Our next fixture though is against Middlesbrough, who find themselves right bang at the bottom. Another rival game. I am wanting to come away with all three points. Might change up the team, slightly more attacking. Uh, let, yeah, let's go and have a look at the side. Neves is starting 77 rated, that is pretty high. Carl's drop 78 rated, which is better than Yedlin. We've got some new faces, fresh faces, and a great looking side. I think we're ready for the uh, Middlesbrough game. I'm not changing anything with the formation. It worked in the last one. We're away from home. Let's go on our travels. It is risky what we're doing in today's game using two fresh faces. We have no idea how well they're going to perform. Fingers crossed they do the job today. Middlesbrough, I'm wanting all three points. It's definitely going to be a tough game. We've got some nice possession football going on here. If we can make sure of that goal, otherwise it's just going to come to waste. Oh, Shelby. Over to Abel Hernandez. Through to Gale. Gale was caught in possession. Hold on to it. Lovely. Good spell. Great pressure. Into the middle. Look at the look at the space that Neves is in. Neves! Oh, I don't know what foot he is. Middlesbrough are going to try and play that down the line to Gaston Ramirez. Gaston Ramirez with the delivery. Big header from Mbemba. Ruben Neves. Lovely. Good. Fantastic. Oh, dear. No. Jesus, he slipped at the chance. Recovery challenge. Whoa. All right, fair play. That was a good goal. That was a fantastic goal. Not only did I try and get the tackle in, he evaded it. Then he pulled it back under control, and it's gone in the back of it. Nothing I really could have done there. Just do what we did against Swansea. Hold them off. Otherwise, they're going to get some momentum behind them. Oh, dear, oh, dear. That's going back post. Sells. He's just got his fingertips to that. That's helped us. No, suicide pass. We do not want to be doing that. That's for sure. The first 10 minutes, we were controlling. Now I'm finding it difficult. Ooh, good save, Sales. He's kept us in it. We've got a lot of space forming here. Gale. Gale wants it. Give it back to Hernandez. I was looking for that delicate through ball. Yes, Hernandez. Great. What? That is not a foul. That is a shoulder barge. 50-50 challenge right there. The first 10 to 15 minutes in this game, we had a good spell of possession and we didn't do anything with it, which I'm slightly disappointed. Then it was a great bit of skill from their attacker to uh, put them 1-0 in front. I may bring on Mitrovic and resort to crosses. We've been getting down the line a lot. Let's uh, let's take advantage of that. Hernandez off. Mitrovic is on. Come on, Mitro. I can't get the I can't get the ball off of Gaston Ramirez. I've gone in from behind. The referee didn't see anything wrong with that. Piazza. Look at that pace from Piazza. He is actually ridiculous. <gasps> Go on, Piazza. Please, get the ball in the box. Mitrovic, where are you going? Go on, cross it in. Oh, it was the... Wow, yeah, I did kick out. I did kick out. Neves is coming back. Go on, Neves. He has been playing really well, to be honest. I think he's better than Anita. And that's me just being honest with you guys. Yes, Mitrovic. Use that strength, Mitro. <gasps> Oh my goodness, and I love that. We've got some great rotation. We can bring on a big man and a quality finisher in Mitrovic now. Also, Hernandez, Gale. 
I love it. It's good. Ruben Neves plays it into Mitro. Back to Shelby. Look at that run. Oh, it's gone out to Hydara. That's fine. Whip it in. Big header. So can we get anyone on it? No. Middlesbrough in this second half haven't done anything. Been very, very poor. Look at the space that Mitrovic was creating there. He's gone to Hydara though. I'm going to lay it back to Neves. Neves, very impressed. He's had a good game. He's going to do the one-two. Or he tried to do the one-twos. So we are going to be coming away with one point from that game. Away from home, one point. It's not so bad. It was just... One of those games where we could have easily come away with all three points. In the second half, we dominated. The first 10 to 15 minutes in the game, we controlled. And the second half, it was all us. It's just a shame that we didn't find that second goal. So Jose Perez has just got in touch to say he's concerned about the minutes he's been playing lately. Just hasn't been getting uh, much game time. The issue that I find is that he's not good enough to be a striker. And in the cam or centre mid position, his passing isn't up to scratch. I don't think he's good enough. And that is the issue. He's one of my favorite players at Newcastle. So I don't really want to sell him on. I'm hoping that the cup games come around sooner rather than later. So we can feature him there. The two players though. Let me go to the team management. And I will show you the two players. Piazza Neves. Those two fantastic signings that we've brought in. In this transfer window. I would actually say that it's been successful. He, Well both of them feel great really happy so guys that is where i'm going to end this episode i hope it's not too long drop a like on the video let me know if you think we've done well in this window and if you've got any recommendations on how we should set out the team uh, feel free to uh, drop it in thanks for watching team out Peace.